Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So, if you guys remember my last video, I did a unboxing from Hobium Yarns, which is my favorite online yarn store. And I had mentioned that I had a, a an order and some of it was stuck in customs um, uh, in Illinois where I live. Sometimes some of my packages, when I order over out of the country, they get stuck in customs for a while. It's nothing against the yarn company. It doesn't have anything to do with them. It's just the way custom is sometimes. But anyways, um, so I opened what I got and everybody said that whenever I got the rest of it, they would like to see it. Well, I did get it. It came through quicker than I thought it would. I kind of thought it would stick there forever. So I'm going to show you what was in the rest of my Hobium order. I got my boxes here. I got a new sticker on it. I never really got this before. Examined, in, examined by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. They opened them. <laughs> That's okay, though. I don't care. They're probably like, it's this yarn. Sit it on its way. All right. Let's look and see. So I know some of this is their new yarn. Now, if you're not familiar with Hobium Yarns, they're based in Turkey. Favorite online yarn company. You know. If you guys are familiar, you already know because I say all this stuff. Anyways. Check them out. I'll put a link below. I'm not affiliated with Hobium. It's not an affiliated link. I don't make money if you buy the yarn. I don't care if you buy the yarn. I just like to show you the yarn because I like it. That's what I do on my channel. It's part of it. And I do tutorials and yarn reviews and stuff. But anyways, enough yak yak. Let's see what's in these boxes. Want to? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we'll look at that. Okay, so usually you get a coupon and like some buttons or sequins and some Hobium tags and stuff for free in your boxes. Um, okay, so this I think was one of their new yarns. Okay, so let's look at it. This is their Etrophil Baby Lux. The Etrophil is a very nice brand of yarn that Hobium carries. It feels very, very soft. The feel of it's nice. I like it. Designed in Italy. Um, made in Turkey. So, it is 100 grams, 250 meters. It's 60 bamboo and 40% polyamide. It's very soft. It's very nice. It, it is It's 100% organic and it's certified to be safe for baby. Um, it does say hand wash and lay flat to dry. Um, classification on their site, they classify it as a number two sport weight. I think it's like a three. A lighter three like mandala yarn if you're familiar with that but it's not like super thin like a super two I don't know in between a two and a three I guess that's just my guess but it's very soft and it's very pretty so the yardage on this is 273 yards it's soft that's a nice yarn that's a nice yarn that makes something very pretty for a baby so it's 410 for a single or at Hobium, you can buy singles or you can buy them in packs. If you buy them in packs, it's cheaper. So 410 for a single skein or 369 if you buy them in a pack of five. They come in packs of five. But that's Etrophil Baby Lux. That's nice. I like it. It's very soft. I think if you got that, you'd be very happy with it. Bamboo blend. Nice. And it doesn't, just because it says baby, you don't have to use it for baby. That'd be a beautiful top for a lady. Shawl, poncho, sweater, stuff like that. Just because yarn says baby yarn, you don't have to use it for yarn, or for baby. And just because it says sock yarn, you don't have to use it for socks. You kind of don't even make socks, but you can use it for whatever you want. So this was some yarn that was on clearance, on their clearance section. I'd never had it before. It was new. So let's look at it. And it comes in a pack of 10. And the, you have to buy the whole pack because it's on clearance. And it was $18 for the whole pack. Now I'm speaking in US dollars, okay? Um, this is Etrophil. 
Angora Baby, designed in Italy, made in Turkey. It's nice. I like it. 100% organic, and it's certified safe for baby. Hand wash, lay flat. 15% Angora, 35% viscose, and 50% polyamide. 50 grams are 150 meters, so probably like close to 170 yards, something like that, per ball. I don't know what they classify this as on the, I think they said maybe a two, I can't remember. I'm going to say that it's probably between a two and a three, probably closer to a three. I think it's a three. But that's just my opinion. In between a two and a three. But that's pretty. Ain't those colors pretty? So I think that's a really good deal. It's nice and soft. It does have angora in it a bit. But not at all itchy. You could use it for baby. Or you could use it for whatever you wanted. But this was in our current section. So I do not know how long it will be there for. But I like it. I got it in another color. Which I had plans on. I'm making a baby blanket out of this color. It's so pretty. That color is pretty too, though. That one reminds me of uh, Fruity Pebbles or something, but this one's really pretty too. It's got like peach and um, yellow. I like that. That's nice. Nice and soft. I think it's a good price. Very pretty. So I think, uh, well, I mean, a whole pack of 18 would be enough to make a baby like this. So. And it's eighteen dollars on that. Um, let me move over here. Oh my goodness! Feeling old today. Been doing a little housework today. In case you're interested, I've been I'm jabbing now. Um, makes me tired. I can't really say I did a lot. I didn't do a lot, but I did do I did do some. Housework. Let me just open this last box here. It came in three boxes. I'm not sure why. Oh, ho, ho. I like this one. Okay, I remember I said in my last video that I ordered some more of this Araya. I don't know. Someone told me I, I've been saying it wrong, that it's Araya. I don't care. I'm going to call it Araya because that's just what I call it. You guys know what I mean. People pronounce things differently. Just depends on where you're from. When I look at it, it looks like a riot to me. So that's what I'm going to say. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I showed this in my last video and I showed it before in another video. I love this yarn. I said this might be one of my favorites of their new yarns. This is the red one. It's beautiful. Himalaya Araya. Um, so this is certified also as safe for baby and it's super soft. I think it would make a cool baby blanket with those little dots in it. It's like a bulky five weight yarn. Not at all itchy. Made in Turkey. It is 50 grams, 80 meters or 87 yards per ball. 62 acrylic, 18 polyamide, 10 fine merino and fine merino super wash. And 10 alpaca. It's a lot of fiber content. Hand wash. Lay flat. All yarns are nowadays for some reason. So, the Araya yarn. Or however you really say it. I don't know. But, that's what I'm going to call it. Hobium. If you're watching this and I'm, and I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologize. But you probably already know I pronounce it all wrong. So, <laughs> everybody knows. It's a uh, three twenty-five a ball, or you can buy it in a ten pack. Oh, and they have some new colors. I knew they were gonna get some new colors of this. I have to get them. I have to get them. They're so pretty. Um, okay. Anyways, it's three twenty-five a ball or two ninety-three if you buy a ten pack. It is so nice. I like that one a lot. So, Araya. I'll tell you what, Hobium. If you're watching, I know you watch some of my videos. I don't know if you'll be watching this one. You're telling me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I want to know if it, what, what, how, you, how you really say it. Because I'm not really certain. But that's just how I say it. Okay, this was another one of their new ones. I'm just going to try to... I try to tape up my 
tape them back up and I'm done. So I can keep them clean. Who knows? I'm going to start filling my shelves again. Maybe. A lot of people say they don't like them empty. Maybe I'll fill them. I like it both ways, so I, I probably like them filled up better. I was looking at old videos the other day of when my yarn shelves were full, and I'm like... But then I got to thinking, it's actually better, because I feel less... Um, what is it? Claustrophobic in here, because I got rid of so much yarn, but that's okay. Okay, so enough of that. Blabbing again. Blabbing! I'm blabbing. I'm always blabbing. And I know, you know what has to tell me energy drinks are bad for me and caffeine's bad for me. I know all that. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I got it under control. Okay, so this is the Etrophil, uh, Etrophil Jeans yarn designed in Italy, made in Turkey. 50 cotton, 45 acrylic, or 55 cotton, 45 acrylic. 100% uh, organic and it's also certified baby safe hand wash lay flat so the fill of this uh, feels kind of typical of a jeans yarn now it is a cotton acrylic blend I if I had to compare it to a cotton acrylic blend that you could find easily in the United States I would compare it to Caron cotton cakes you know it's it's nice it's soft enough to make garment out of it seems to be about a three weight yarn, so it's light enough that it's going to make it have a nice drape. But it's not the softest um, acrylic cotton that I've ever felt, but it's soft enough that I will use it. I would make Evelyn a baby dress out of this, which I thought about doing when I bought this. Um, so, I mean, you can make hats and scarves, whatever, out of it. It's not stiff like that. And I think if you use a loose enough stitch, that it'll probably make a gorgeous drape. So there's nothing wrong with with it. It's just a jeans type. The feel of it is a jeans type yarn, not the way that it looks. See how it's kind of spun up like that. So they do classify it as a two weight, and again, it's probably I would still consider it more of a three, but you know that just depends on the person, I guess. Everybody kind of considers it different. But I'll show you up close there. Tell me what you think about that. Anyways, it's nice. I like it. And I really didn't think it was too bad of a price. There's 174 yards. And, you know, it being certified, baby safe, 100% um, organic. It's $220 a ball or you can buy a 10-pack. You have to buy a 10-pack to get it at a discount price of $1.98 each. I like it. Oh, they got lots of colors, too, to choose from. They're all solid and they're all very, very pretty. I had a hard time. I always do, though. have a hard time picking colors. Okay. This was another new one that I seen. And I seen it was sparkly. I like sparkly yarn, so I had to get it. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. So, this is the Etrophil <laughs> Samarna. Samirna. I don't know what it is. That's what it is. It's okay if I said it wrong. You guys can pronounce it. There you go. Okay, so this feels very nice, like a uh, plushy feeling. Feels plushy, not velvety, but plushy. So um, let's see. Read about it. It's 100% polyester, super bulky, number six. You can machine wash, but you want to lay flat to dry, and it's 100% organic, certified for safety or whatever for baby. Designed in Italy, made in Turkey. It's beautiful teal. See them sparkles in it? It's a beautiful color. Now the thing though with a velvet and polyester, a velvet and plush yarns like this, they're very delicate in my opinion. They are, they take a special project. But I love velvet and plush yarns. They're all so very soft, so very beautiful. This would make a very pretty baby blanket. The sparkle in it is a very subtle, so um, it's more kind of like a dusting. So, you know, it's not itchy. It wouldn't itch baby if you made a baby blanket out of it. That's nice. I like that a lot. Very pretty. Let's check out the price on this one. 
Okay, so they call this Chanel yarn, and I'm gonna have to agree with that. It's like a, it's like a Chanel filling yarn, a soft, soft Chanel yarn, um, like plushy. I like it. I do like it a lot. I think that would make a gorgeous baby blanket, really. Scarf, cowl, something soft around your neck. And like I said, those sparkles aren't itchy at all. They're really su su subtle in there. But yet, yeah, still very noticeable in the light. Beautiful. So, um, this is $4.50 a piece. Or if you buy a pack of five, which they come in packs of five, they're $4.05 a piece. Now, that is for... 109 yards now you might think that's high but you have to do a comparison because this is a bulky six if you was to compare it to say something you could find at walmart easily like a lion brand hometown their bulky six is like 80 87 yards and it's like three dollars now this is 450 for um a little over a hundred yards and it's a much more prettier yarn than, and a much more softer yarn than Lion Brand's hometown. So if you kind of, what I do when I'm comparing yarns, I try to compare them to similar yarns on the market as far as yardage versus price. I always try to compare my yarns as yardage versus price and then to see if I think they're worth it. I think that's worth what they're asking. I really do. All this that I've shown so far, I think is worth every penny that they're asking. It's very, very pretty yarn. I like it. Let's move on to the next. And I know that this one's worth it. I've already bought this before. Evelyn picked this color. She helped me pick this batch of yarn. She helped me pick the last one. But this is some of it that was stuck in customs. So, of course, she picked this one. I like this a lot. I opened it a couple times already. It's so pretty. This is a Himalayan Air Wool Malty. It's very pretty. It is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 155 meters, or 170 yards. It's 74 acrylic, 13 polyamide, and 13% wool. <laughs> Hand wash. Lay flat. Of course, we probably could have guessed that, couldn't we? Have? <laughs> it's classified. Now, they do classify this as a ball, as a four weight. I definitely classify that as a bulky five. And it is a chain spun yarn, which makes it very light and airy. So, even though it does have a bit of wool in it and it's a bulky five, it would make a nice spring garment because of the way it being chain spun makes for a nice lightweight uh, yarn. It's very pretty. Look at the colors of that. Uh, medium pink and then it goes to a little bit of lighter pink and then there goes to white super super gorgeous the himalaya air wool that himalaya yarn line this is new to hobium is super gorgeous i haven't found any of them that i did not like um okay so these are 485 a piece or they come in a pack of five which then you can get them for 437 a piece if you buy a five pack i can't stop squishing it because it's so pretty it's the squish squish test um lots of beautiful colors that i'd like to get all of them um uh, yeah it's it's pretty anyways uh yardage wise i told you um 169 yards for a bulky five for 485 I don't think that's too bad of a price considering it's chain spun and it's absolutely gorgeous. I got a five pack, which is would be plenty to make Evelyn um, a nice spring sweater. It's cool here where I live in the spring, so and this is light enough that it won't be heavy on her. Something like that, if I decided to make that into something or some type of top. I don't know. I know it's pretty though. I like it. Okay, let me see here. Okay, here's another new one that uh i got red 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 etrophil alpaca lux that's a beautiful burgundy color so why don't we read about it mm -hmm. you can definitely tell there's uh wool in it Okay, so it's 50 acrylic, 25 alpaca, and 25 organic merino wool. 100 grams or 100 meters hand wash. Hand wash and lay flat, in case you didn't know that already. 
it, it is 100% organic and it's certified um, safe for it's nice um, I don't, I'm not sure what they classify that as, as let me okay they classify this as a bulky six I would be in agreement with that but it is on the thinner side of a bulky six it's probably between a five and a six that would be my guess now the feel of it is it's uh you can tell there's wool in it it's there's nothing wrong with it it's squishy it's not as soft as some of the yarns that i felt but it's still not not soft you could still wear a scarf out of it it keep you very warm it wouldn't be itchy at all no not at all i like it i do like it now the price is six dollars a skein or if you buy a five pack it's 540 considering the fiber content the yardage is 109 yards oh no no they classified as a bulky five did i say six no they classified as a bulky five and i think i agree with them it's a thicker bulky five but it's definitely a bulky five i don't i, I like it i think that it's a good price and i would i'd buy it again they got um uh about 12 different colors they're all solid all very pretty this would work great well for like a, a nice winter scarf sweater nice winter sweater something that you'd want to use in in like fall and winter time probably i like that one all right let's move on i'm almost done you guys probably want me to be done but i enjoy doing it i enjoy talking to you guys so you get your hobium sack What'd you get? Well, oh my gosh, they got a new hobium sack. I'm just, look at this one. Okay, so first they used to have a jackalope. I don't know if you remember that. Um, I have some hanging over there, but I'm not gonna go, gonna go get them. And then they had a fox. Look what they got now. Oh my gosh, it is a puppy drinking a Slurpee and a crochet hat. This one's my favorite. Hobium, this one's adorable. I love it. That's so cool. They changed their sacks like that. Adorable. That's so cute. So it has a puppy on it, drinking that soda. Oh, he's got his striped sweater on too. And his crochet hat. Oh, maybe he's drinking a latte. I can't tell because he's got a, a little uh, co a cozy on it. I don't know what it is. He's drinking something. And it says, all you knit in is love on the back. Hashtag love, hobium. That's an adorable sack. That's my favorite out of the fox. That one, the fox, and the jackalope that I've seen. That puppy is my favorite. All right, let's move on to the yarns, shall we? Shall we? Okay, there are some yarns in here that I was super excited to get. Um, and I'm, I'll show you those in a minute. This one you're probably familiar with. This is their rock and roll yarn. I have a very beautiful shawl made out of this. I got it in black because I had plans for this. Ain't that pretty. Now the gazelle rock and roll is very pretty and very shiny. The black is almost... I mean, that's the first time I've ever had it in black. It's shiny. It's almost like a half shiny, half matte black. It's super, super cool looking. I really like this one a lot. Wow. Hey, it's hand washing lay flat. In case you wonder, in case you wonder. Okay, so it's 50 grams, 100 and 1.76 ounces, or 125 yards per ball. It's beautiful, beautiful yarn. Yeah, you should check out my channel. I made a gorgeous shawl out of this in red. It was so pretty. And a wrap, actually. A rectangle wrap. And that is my plans for this. Is actually to make a shawl or a wrap. But if you have not tried their rock and roll yarn, yarn you'll really, really like it. So it is a medium weight number four. They classify it as a lightweight three on their site. Definitely not a lightweight three, is it? It's also chain spun, so it makes it nice, light, and airy. Gosh, that black is beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. Very pretty. Did I tell you this? 21 acrylic, 70 polyamide, and 9 
Alana Marino. Anyways, 125 yards. I say that I did short term memory loss. <laughs> it's 283 a ball, or for a 10 pack, it's 255 a piece. Those are gorgeous. Uh, very similar to some other yarns on the market, patents, metallic, and I think ice has ones very similar. I don't care if ice yarns is cheaper. I say that all the time. I prefer Hobium. I buy from Hobium. I mean, I, I do buy from ice once in a while, but it's not my favorite place. Very pretty. So that's the rock and roll in black. Black's nice for rock and roll. All right. I'm almost done here. I just want to make sure I show you most of their, their new yarns here. This was a new one, I believe. I try to get their new yarns when they come out. And then I have to get some of my old trusty favorites, like the rock and roll. Etrophil Baby baby Can. Designed in Italy. Anti-peeling, 100% anti-peeling acrylic. It's nice and soft. I like it. Let's see. 100% organic, and it's certified safe for baby. 273 yards of anti-acrylic anti-peeling acrylic hey you can machine wash this but you still have to lay it flat to dry that's nice i like it feels kind of like uh it's it's soft feels like uh i can't just i can't describe it not a plushy soft but it's soft soft yarn let's look it up see what it costs so these run for 173 yards uh the weight of it is so they classify it as a light a dk which is a lightweight three it is a lightweight three yarn it's 350 or if you buy a five pack they're 315 a piece i like it i do Etrophils is, is it's a nice brand of yarn. So is that Himalaya. They're very nice. And let's see if I got... Oh, I got it in another color. Oh, I had intentions on making Evelyn a dress out of this. That's why I got this cream. And then I got this dusty rose color. Um, I'm going to make my four-year-old a dress for spring out of it. That's why I got those two colors together. I remember now. I remember. Okay, let's see. Okay. I just got a couple more. Uh, three more. Now, these are um, new to Hobium. Uh, it's a new line of yarn that, they're starting to, that they started to carry. Um, they carry the Himalaya, which is new to them. And then they also carry this one, which I hadn't had a chance to buy because it is a little bit on the pricier side. So I decided I would save up because I wanted it so dang bad. Now, it's a very good brand of yarn. And I did... Uh, Notice that it's quite pricey everywhere you look. So, um, wow. It's their Rowan branded yarn. Wow. That is like air. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, Ro this one, they have uh, several different types. I was only able to get three. I have plans for two of them, though, that already. This one, I'm not quite sure what I'll do with this one. I have, but I'm, I'm sure I'll do something with that. This is Rowan Alpaca Classic. Made with super fine alpaca in cotton. 25 grams or 131 yards. 57 alpaca, 43% cotton. If I'm correct on where it's made, I don't want to say yet because I'm sorry. Yeah, made in Italy. It's so pretty. Of course, you know it's going to be hand washing me flat to dry. It's gorgeous yarn. Wow, that is pretty. Now, you know, there's not a lot here. 131 yards. And it's uh, 57 alpaca, 43% cotton. That's a nice blend of yarn. I'm trying to separate it here to show you. Um, <laughs> um, what is it? Alpaca Classic. Alpaca Classic. I'm so excited to get it. Um, 
I had so such a hard time trying to decide uh, which ones to get. But I find because I didn't have enough money to buy them all. Because like I said, they're kind of expensive. So hold your seat whenever I tell you the prices of these next this one and the next two yarns. Okay. So this is the classified as a lightweight three, and I'm going to be in agreement with that. If you count the fuzzies that are sticking off of it, I think it is. It is super soft, not itchy at all. Gosh, that's a beautiful beautiful yarn it's like nothing wow squish squish it passes my squishy bag of days squishy squishy test that is gorgeous gorgeous that color is beautiful i love mustard okay they only actually have three colors of this one available uh dark blue kind of like a magenta and then the mustard of course i'm gonna go to go for the mustard because i like that this I think I might make a cow or something out of because I don't have a lot of yardage of it. Now I only bought two skeins of this. So I have 131 yards each. And these run $10 a piece. Worth it? Price versus yardage? <laughs> no. Fiber content? Um, certainly. Yep. Yes. It's, it's gorgeous. Now, Rowan is, like I said, it is an extremely nice brand of yarn. And this is actually the first time I've ever had any. And um, I've done some looking, like I said, and it's just, it's just a pricey yarn. Um, it's, it's, you know, for something special, make yourself something special out of it. I always say you're worth it to buy once in a while. A yarn that's out of your budget and make yourself something nice with it or something for somebody else that is super special in your life make them something nice with it because they're worth it too if they're special to you then they're worth it this is so gorgeous I like that one that's the alpaca classic okay like I said I didn't know what I was gonna do with those but I don't know maybe a cow or a scarf or something that's beautiful Okay, now I have plans for these uh, these two here already. <laughs> this is a Rowan Felted Tweed. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. That is so great. All right. Not itchy. Oh, yes. I know I shouldn't smell it. I do it though. Sorry if it bothers you. I still do it. Um, so yes, it's, oh, you can machine wash this on cold, but you have to lay it flat to dry. Um, it is, I would imagine it's nice. Okay. So this is made in Italy too. It's a uh, Rowan felted tweed, a felted effect yarn made with merino wool and alpaca, 50 grams approximately 191 yards 50 wool 25 alpaca and 50 viscose it's a very nice fiber content again very nice fiber content <laughs> now this i actually am making a very lacy shawl with this for spring i already have my pattern thought out i just needed the perfect yarn and i wanted this but it was a lot of money so I waited to get it. Again, hold your seat for this one, okay? Remember, you're worth it. You're worth it, okay? Okay, these run $17 a ball. It's beautiful. They have a lot of pretty colors. Well, they had a few that I couldn't hardly choose from, but I went with the pink because the show I have in mind, I think is gonna be really pretty. With this and I can't wait to get it done it's gonna be nice and lightweight for spring it's not at all itchy it's squishy squishy I like it a lot I'm super happy with these rowan yarns mm. oh or you could buy a 10 pack and get them for $15 and 30 cents a piece so I'm gonna make a shawl with this that was my intentions because I had a shawl in my mind for a while and I was looking for the perfect yarn and then I saw that rowan yarn and I'm like that would work but then I couldn't afford it and then I'm like I'll just save up my money and that's what I did and I wanted this one really bad too 
this is another Rowan. It's the last yarn in my box. And I have a plan for this one already too. Okay. All right, so this is going to be a spring top, lacy top that you would wear a shirt underneath it, okay? This is Rowan Cashmere Tweed, made with extra fine merino and cashmere. Mmm, look at that, it's pretty. Ain't that gorgeous yarn. Wow. So pretty. It's like I'm mesmerized by it. I just wish it wasn't so... I wish I could buy more of it, but I just can't at the moment. So it's made in Italy. It's 80 wool, 20 cashmere. 25 grams. Hand wash, lay flat. 96 yards of cake. It's a tiny cake. It is. It's a tiny cake. These run $13 a cake. Um, or you can buy a 10-pack and get them for eleven seventy dollars a piece. So... I have plans for this one, and I have plans, actually I have plans for all three of them, and I'm going to make tutorials out of them, but remember, you don't have to use this yarn, and just because I bought it, it's something I really, really wanted, like I said, for myself, um, to try it, and to squeeze it, it's so pretty, it's nice, it's going to make a really pretty spring top. Let's, oh, I don't even know what they, what is classified as, I think they said DK. A lightweight three and I would agree with that it's probably a lightweight three very pretty gosh they had a red one on this that I wanted so so bad and I spent two days deciding if I wanted to get teal or red on this two days I spent thinking about that but I decided I'd go with teal I don't really know why but I did it's beautiful beautiful I'm not disappointed in it. I'm not disappointed in any of the yarn that I got. Now, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. I love the new Hobium sacks. They're super cool. I love all the yarn that I got. I have to say, though, that uh, Rowan yarn is super, super right on, man. That is some nice yarn. It's only special occasion yarn, though. I mean, that's not something I can buy all the time because it's it is an expensive yarn. But it was it's gonna make a very very nice project. You know, some yarn, some brands of yarn are just more than others. You know, and this red one just happens to be one of them. It's pretty. I love it. I do. I'm very happy with my purchase, and I can't wait to get started on the shawl that I had in mind for this. I almost used Red Heart Unforgettable, but I'm like, nope, that's it. I'm buying the Rowan. I'm making a shawl out of it. It's going to be beautiful. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't think ill of me because I spent that much on that Rowan yarn. I had to have it. Sometimes I, you get something, I get something in my head, and I just can't quit thinking about it. I can't quit thinking about it. I'll sit up and think about it and, until I just, and then I'll be like, I got to have it. I'll sit there, and, and I'll do how to save my money until I can get it because I won't be able to quit thinking about it until I get it. That just was that was Hobium's Rowan collection. I don't even have it all yet. I probably won't be able to get it all but <laughs> it's all very very beautiful. I'm happy with everything I got. Again Hobium never lets me down. Thanks everybody for watching. Remember I'm not affiliated with Hobium. Tobiumyarns.com is their English uh, website. They have two. One Turkish and one English. Hobium Yarns is the English one. If you just go hobium.com, that's going to take you to their Turkish website. And unless you speak that language, you probably won't be able to understand it. So hobiumyarns.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm going to go spend some time with my yarn. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it up on my shelves. You guys look for that in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.